on, what's going on, what's going on? It's your girl D here to do a um, a collective love reading. I know you guys like to, uh, you guys have mentioned that you like these. For those of you who are subscribed, so I'm gonna start doing more of them. If you're well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please hit that uh, notification bell, hit the subscribe button. That way you know when I post. So let's see what we got going on. We're gonna see what's going on with you and in your person. So we're going to do two cards on each side for the overall energy or for the, you know, their overall view of the relationship. And then we're going to do card, two cards on each side for the actions taken. And then we're going to clarify them and then we're going to do the outcome. All right. So I need two cards. Two cards, please. One. All right, two. All right, and then I need two cards for this side. One, okay. Two. Now let's see what the... Um, Actions are <clears throat> okay. One, two. Overall energy on this side. Now you can take whatever side resonates with you. It's a general read. All right. So we're gonna see what each person is feeling. Overall energy here is the death card in reverse. Okay. Major arcana energy. Actually. This is not the death card, is it? Yeah, it is. It's the devil. Excuse me. This is the devil in reverse. Okay. Now let's get to this side here and then we'll kick in. So I need two more as far as actions on this side. One. Two. Okay. Overall energy on this side of things. Seven of Swords. What the hell is going on, folks? What is going on? All right. So let's start with this side then. Seven of Swords is the overall energy. This is somebody who is with the Seven of Swords energy. This is uh, Aquarius energy. So this is somebody who is trying to make sure. I mean, this could be a couple of different things. It could be somebody who's trying to make sure that they're doing the right thing. They're watching what they're doing. They could be afraid to say something because Maybe that they say the wrong thing, somebody might get offended or upset or hurt, or they don't know what to say, so they're like tiptoeing. This is someone who tiptoes around their words, you know, because they don't want to get anything wrong, or they just don't know what to say, so maybe they're not saying anything, you know, but they're thinking about things. This could also be someone who's just up to no good, who is, um, you know, has negative intentions towards someone, they're trying to steal something, but we'll see what's going on. All right, so as far as the person and how they feel about the situation here, we have the death card, major arcana energy, and the three of pentacles in reverse. So somebody is saying that this situation is over, okay? They may not be expressing that to this person, okay, with this overall energy here. They may not be saying that it's over, but they feel like it's over, and they um, feel like there's no support. Like, they're not getting what they put into the relationship back from this person, okay? Okay. And their actions towards the relationship are Major Arcana, High Priestess, and the King of Wands in reverse. So it's like this person knows that this is all about sex. Okay? It's like this person, you know, they were maybe, okay, when we'll say they won't know, they didn't know it. It's been revealed to them. They they feel as if they this situation is about sex or they were, they were clouded in their vision. They like, you know what? I know this is over. This person's not willing to put in work for a real commitment. You know, I had cloudy visions about that. I thought that this person was really going to put some work in, but this person is doesn't have any, they don't have any follow through or this person is just all about sex. Okay. And speaking of which, <laughs> all about sex, this card is in reverse in this deck. This is the uh, devil energy in reverse Capricorn energy. Now, when the devil is in reverse in this, this is all about sex. Okay. All about sexual escapades. Things like that. So this person was right on the ball in reference to this person's intentions. Now, this person's uh, overall feelings about the situation here is the King of Swords 
and the uh, nine of cups in reverse. So this person is not, I don't know if they were upfront and direct about what they wanted, but with the nine of cups in reverse, this is somebody who just wants what they want. This is someone who's very greedy, greedy, gluttonous, and it has a lot to do, it can have a lot to do with sex. Someone who overindulges in sex. And this could be that this person is just blunt, straight to the point. You know, they don't care about anybody's feelings. If they want something, they're going to go after it. It's not about emotion. It's all about, you know, the enjoyment that they get out of the situation. And their actions towards a relationship are the Two of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this person has made a decision with the Two of Swords in reverse that they're not going to move forward with anything serious okay with the knight of pentacles in reverse um this is clearly for them about sex okay it, it just clearly is this is cut and dry okay now let's get some clarifiers out here and see what more information we can find out clarify this death Clarify death. This person has changed their mind here with the death card. The death card is all about, it's not about ending something and it being over. It's just about changing their whole view about this person or changing their whole perspective on it. And it's not going to go back. Yeah, see, pleasure seekers in reverses was clarifying the death card. They no longer find this person interesting, fun to be with. No longer. Clarify this three of pentacles in reverse because this person basically is um, not interested in putting in any work. This merchant card came up. See, this strikes me as somebody who does things, who's out for money, but they don't do things by the book. You know, you have um, other cards in this deck that talk about someone who's about their business. Um, but to me, this is someone who could be um, focused on money, okay, and what they can get from other people, okay, with this three of pentacles in reverse here. This is somebody who, um, like, plays games. Because the Three of Pentacles could talk about, like, office politics or no support or, you know, just the way that they politic, the way that they move around. It's not anything that is, you know, decent and respectable, okay, is what I'm getting here. Then the actions that have been taken is um, with, the, with the High Priestess in reverse, this person may have had clouded vision about this person in the beginning okay or you know they their higher self revealed to them that this person was all about sex and see they realized with the high priestess in reverse clarify with prison that they were they were thinking about this person in the way that they shouldn't have they were thinking that maybe this person wanted to put in some work in this relationship or wanted to establish a relationship with them but they realized that this person had their mind see this person was playing mind games with them clarify this knight i mean this king of wands in reverse King of Wands in reverse is somebody who has no follow-through whatsoever, somebody who's not ready to commit, someone who's very immature, someone who's all about sex, okay? Clarify this King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, hope, hope came out in reverse. So yeah, this person had no hopes of doing anything serious. Like their whole goal was just to get some sex. All right. Now, this person over here with the King of Swords in reverse here. I mean, yeah, this person realizes that there's no hope in trying to get this person to think of them in any other way. So this is why this person totally changed their mind and their perspective about this relationship. And what it is, is they knew that this person was up to no good. They knew this person was out here to try to get them and to do something. Their intuition told them. Right. Now, this person over here with the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is this person's view of the situation. This person is just like cut and dry, like, you know, there's no emotion involved. See, with the three of, we clarify the, the King of Swords with the three of, um, with the cheerfulness card. This person has no intention of settling down. This person wants to celebrate and, and, and party and do what they want to do with whomever they want to do it with. Now, let's clarify this Nine of Cups in reverse because that represents somebody who likes to overindulge in sexual activity or they like to drink and have fun and have sex but oh look what we got here clarified by wife so this person could very well be married and they just want to hang out and have fun they're just looking for sex so they may not be having sex with their partner right now um there could be something going on in a relationship um but this person i'm getting strongly that they're married okay this is why we have the cheerfulness card here so this person is happy see this could be the wife, and in the red dress, red represents passion. So this could be the third party right here, 
Okay, they may know each other. Okay, they could very well know each other. Could be somebody they work with or somebody they do business with. Or somebody that, you know, is just a friend of a friend. You never know. But this person's actions towards the relationship are the Two of Swords in reverse and the Knight of uh, Pentacles in reverse. This person has made a decision with the Two of Swords in reverse that they're not going anywhere with this relationship. They have no intention of it. And then the Knight of Pentacles also could talk about someone who's just about sex. Okay? They don't want to put any time and effort in, but they want to put physical work in. Okay? You know what I mean. So clarify this Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is just a sex thing here for this person. Two of Swords. In reverse, clarify with love. See, this person, they were playing mind games, okay? They were playing mind games with the other person, which is why this person had them, you know, they were mentally imprisoned because they weren't using their intuition, okay? They weren't following their intuition like they should have in the beginning, but yeah, this person fronts. What they do is they come in, oh, you know, you're the you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, I want to be with you. This person could be coming to you to tell you this, but they're all about sex. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? We have that clarified with thought in reverse. See, this person is not thinking about being in anything serious. They're not even thinking about it. It's not even on their mind. It's the last thing on their mind, okay? This person over here has been stressed out about the situation it's like you you're not speaking or this person's not saying much to you or you know this person was up to no good and you got tired of the situation with them because it wasn't going anywhere okay and that's and that's when you realize this person is purposely with the knight of swords in reverse not saying what they want you know the very little communication if any at all this person will call you when they want not call you not speak to you okay so you started thinking about this and you put two and two together and you said, bye, off with your head with the Queen of Swords energy. And as soon as you decide to say bye, here this person comes again, trying to reach out to you, you know, with the King of Cups showing that love. See, here's the lover's card here, showing that love, talking about they want to come back. But then when they get you back, this is what goes on. This is what goes on, the Two of Swords energy, okay? Then maybe they'll call you, maybe they won't. You know, hmm, I don't know if I want to, you know, this is them playing games, playing mind games. And you, they're never going to treat you right. They were never going to treat you right with the Justice card in reverse. And you had to come to that cl clarity that this person was never going to put in work in this situation. And there was no need for you to be beating yourself up about trying to figure out what this person was doing because they was just constantly lying to you. Okay. And it probably because they wanted money from you. They wanted to move in. They were probably going to play games to try to see if they could move in with you. You know what I mean? And and mess up your life. <laughs> Over here, this person, yeah, they just wanted sex. We got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they come in. Hey, what's going on? The Knight of Cups offers a, a love situation. He offers a love situation, but it's, it's flimsy, you know, and it's back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and then we have um the Judgment card in reverse. Okay, so this person comes back in and, and does this. Like every time you cut them off, they come back. With the Nine of Swords reverse, they want to reach back out to you again. As soon as you cut them off and the, aggra and the aggravation and the anguish is over, they want to come back in again. And then with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, they come back in, but they have no intentions of treating you fair. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, they have no intentions of it. Okay, and with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, it's like they know that you're, they just sit and wait. They get you back and then they sit and wait. All right. And then with the three of swords in reverse, <laughs> this is when they're like, okay, you know, then they want to apologize because you cut them off. Then they want to apologize. And then we got the knight of cups in reverse here because they're unapologetic about what they're doing. Okay. This was the page of cups. Yeah. See the page of cups was that. Yeah. So the knight of cups in reverse, they're unapologetic about what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And and this is because they want to keep things balanced for them. They want to keep, they want to be in control of things. Okay, this is their goal. And with the three of wands, they're keeping their options open. Okay, they're not interested in settling down or doing anything serious. So I wouldn't even waste my time with this person. All right, whoever's on this side, you know who you are. Whoever's on this side, you know who you are. Let me get you guys some advice for each side. Yeah, because this person, once they get what they want, they're going to walk away with the Eight of Cups. 
They're just gonna walk away. And what is this? Oh yeah, the tower in reverse. They're gonna walk away and it's just like, now what? Because they're guarded and closed off with the four of pentacles. They have no intention of getting in a relationship with anyone at all. Anyone at all. Six of swords, boom, gone. Moved, relocated, left. Five of Pentacles, gone, boom, relocated, left. Five of Swords in reverse. Now they want to make amends again. Here we go with the bullshit again. This, I'm telling you, Eight of Swords in reverse. Here they come again, okay? You got clarity. They, they see what's going on with the Eight of Swords in reverse. They know exactly what it is that they're doing. King of Cups in reverse. Came up next. Manipulating. This is a vicious cycle with this person. You're going to keep going through this with them over and over and over again. This person over here, you need to cut them off. So if you're in that relationship where this person, you know, you don't hear anything from them. And then as soon as two or three weeks go by or a month goes by and then they call you back and then you respond to them. And, you know, if you're not throwing yourself at them, then, you know, they dip off. Love can hurt like hell. Breathe through that shit. Okay, breathe through it. This is for this person over here. Let's see what's going on with this person over here. I don't want to make this too long. Okay. So it says, love the one you're with. This includes you. So this person doesn't love themselves. Okay. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're dealing with someone who's married. Or they already have a long-term girlfriend or boyfriend that they're dealing with. And they're just out for sex. The thing is, is that they don't love themselves. Which is why they're out here giving their body up to people so freely. You can't possibly love yourself if you're out here being a, a, a horn dog. I don't care if you're a male or a woman. A man is not, if he prides himself and values himself, he's not going to be out here sleeping with multiple women. Especially if he has a wife, he's not going to do that. All right, or if he has a long-term girlfriend that he's not telling people about. I don't think he's happy with his wife because we got the nine of cups in reverse. That talks about someone not being happy in a marriage. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's not happy in their marriage, but yet, you know, they just come to you for sex. So this is telling me they're not sleeping with their person. Or they are and they just like you and just want to come see you. Let's see what, what else we get from this deck here. And then I'll let you guys go. But this was pretty cut and dry. This was really simple. What's going on with this person? What messages do we have about this person? Bad vibes. Underground nature. Okay? Underground nature could be... This is somebody who maybe um, hangs out at the bars a lot. Um, is out in the streets a lot. Likes to be out more than in. Okay? Underground nature means, you know, this is somebody who may, you know, hustle, okay? Whatever they do illegally, they may sell something illegally or do something illegally, okay? And they just give you bad vibes. Let's see what's going on with this person over here. Jealousy. Okay, so maybe this person over here is a bit jealous of maybe this person's um, wife or girlfriend or uh, husband could be jealous, One more for this person over here. All right, that's way too many. Yeah, it could be jealous. There could be jealousy here because this person's not giving them any time or giving them effort. And they feel like, okay, well, maybe this person is giving their time to someone else. Why are they not giving it to me? You know, why are they just coming at me just for sex and not wanting to put time and effort into the relationship? So that could make them jealous. Come on, one more. We'll wrap up the reading. book smart so this person over here is book smart all right so this could have been someone who might have been i won't necessarily okay how can i say this so this is someone who's very intelligent very smart they figured it out um this could just be someone who reads a lot of books but they their intuition told them that you know they were letting this person hold them hostage with the mind games that this person was playing okay so their intuition let them know what was up um, so, all right, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully, um, this is something you can connect with. And if this person comes back into your life, because we got Mercury retrograde effective today, that you realize if you've been through this with this person before, 
and you've been through it with them more than two times, they're not going to change. It makes no sense for you to take them back. All of these planets are in retrograde. The universe is going to be sending you all kinds of tests this, this summer. Make sure you pass. Love you guys. See you in the next reading.